we have a major infraction here. Are you chewing gum? Oh, no, I'm not. Are, that's what, I mean, right here, young lady. Right it, here. But can I have it afterwards? <laughs> if it goes well. Can I put it right there? All right, well, here, let me, just a minute. Let me put this down here. I'm going to put a little thing. Hang on, hang on, young lady. Now you put it right there. And I set it right down. There you go. There you are. Right there. Oh, it's not the one with a hole in it. No, it doesn't have a hole in it. Look, it's like something from the X-Files. It's white with green dots. Yeah, I was walking out here, and I realized that I, 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 I look a little too much like a Spice Girl myself. No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that. No, 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 no. I didn't mean there was anything wrong with that. But I think I'd, I'd probably... <laughs> But, <laughs> you know, you're, you're one of those people. I, I'm sure it's because of the show. There's, like, you know, you get on the internet and there's all these, like, <laughs> stories about you. Like, there was one. Now, you tell me this. This is like, like an urban legend. Can you, you make just, that noise again? <laughs> you, say, right. you know, we should use you for the soundtrack you like the that? movie. I, just, I think we should. I normally just do that while making love. <laughs> <laughs> but let me ask you. This. I really didn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the last chance you get a chance to hear it. Either. But anyway, now, as I was saying, now, you, you, there's a, this urban legend that, like, oh, you were down on your luck and you were all set to leave Hollywood, and, like, the next day, you got the X-Files. Is there any truth you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, I, I wasn't about to leave Hollywood. I, I had been out of work for um, about a year, and I'd been auditioning and, and, um, and, and trying to get work, and I was actually considering um, uh, waitressing again, you right. know, not leaving Hollywood and waitressing, but just like waitressing and, and trying to get work. And, and, uh, and then um, the call about the X-Files came up, and, and I went through the whole week-long audition process. And on the actual d day that I um, found out that I had the job, my last unemployment check arrived. So. Oh, see, that's the way to do it. Have the check run out just as you get the job. I know, I know. That's a great way but, to do it. You know, I mean, it's just kind of neat. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. So yeah. it's much more dramatic if I was going to leave Hollywood and like end my career as an actress. But Did you ever think the show would be as huge as it is? I'm sure you've been asked this a million times. But I mean, it's like a worldwide phenomenon. I mean, you go to, you go to I mean, seriously, South Africa, England. I mean, oh. here it's big. There it's it's. It's bigger. It's bigger, isn't it's it? Bigger it's really there. huge. Yeah. It's bigger. It's amazing. You know what? Um, we did uh, the the press junket over the past few days for the for the um, movie coming out, and one of the reporters um, told me this funny story. He said that that he was at screening right. and uh, he lost his wallet, and so um, when he realized it, he went back into the screening room and he found his wallet, and it was missing some money, and it was missing his driver's license. So we called up um, the police station to report it, and he said he was talking to the police officer, and the police officer was filling out a report, and he says um, uh, the police officer said, "Okay, so so what uh, what screening were you at?" And he said, "At, at the X Files screening." And he said, "Wait a second, Do Mulder and Scully kiss?" <laughs> and he said, "Well, hang on a sec, I, you know I, this, that's not really important right now. I need to find my like driver's license." And he's like, "No, no, no, no. I'm not going to tell you anything else unless you tell me who the Mulder and Scully kiss." <laughs> Now that's going just a little too far. Well, that's true. There's always a lot. Cops are very show busy in this town. But, you know, I got stopped one time. I'm going to Hollywood Boulevard, and I'm, I'm going like 45 and like a 12. You know, some, one of those. <laughs> and I go, oh, and the guy goes, hey, Jay Leno. He said, do you accept jokes from, you know, outside your office? And I figured, I am in. <laughs> I go, uh, sure. He goes, ha, ha. And he gives me a <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, I'm thinking, horrible. oh, I thought I had it with, oh, well, you want to send me, to, I'll hire you right now, I'll hire you. Mm. That's horrible. Now, let me ask you this. Now, the X-Files, always very scary, <clears throat> or, well, interesting and scary, but it always makes you think. Do you get scared? I mean, do you, do you read these scripts and go, Oh, yeah. And... No, I do. I mean, I don't get scared from watching the show because I've been through it at that point. But right. when I when I receive the scripts to, to, to start preparing for it, I, I will not read uh, at nighttime. I can't. I have to be at home during the day with the lights on, with the dog in, and my daughter in, yeah. and everything. I mean, I, I can't. And there's sometimes where I actually have to put it down and come back to it later, because it's just getting a little too dark outside or something. <laughs> right. I don't know. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. It's, uh, now, the yeah. show was finally moving from uh, Vancouver to Los Angeles. Are you happy about I that? I know. I am happy about that. I think it's going to be a really good yeah, thing. Yeah. You know, it is, um, there, there's one little problem, is that because of the, uh, the Canadian exchange rate, the scripts are only going to have 80% of the conspiracies. <laughs> Beautiful. beautiful. I mean, it's place. absolutely beautiful. It's got mountains and it's it's safe and it's 
it's um, it's inexpensive, and the people are about as nice as they could possibly be. But you know, you get tired of that after a while. Stay away from that candy. I see. Can okay. Hand off the candy. It's you mine. Tried, you tried to no. At the end of the okay, segment, you the can end have of the candy. Segment. Okay. I just need to fiddle with something. Now we now we have a clip of the movie. What yes, is you clip do. We're going to see. I think it's me on a roof, <laughs> and it's hot out. And um, I'm sweating. Ooh, sounds and good. <laughs> sounds like the pictorial. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, so, um, and, and it's hot. No, I'm looking, oh, I'm looking for a bomb. Looking for a bomb. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. I'm looking for a bomb. The X-Files movie. <laughs> Do they kiss? I guess you'll just have to buy a ticket, Jay. Mm -hmm. I know there's something with a breath mint. Yeah. All right, go ahead. You can have I that I can have now. that now. Go on, go Thank on. you very much. Here we go. Open June 19th. Be right back with Hank Azaria right after this. Julian Anderson.